In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly stir paint. First step, carefully open the lid. If you've already opened this can before, be careful with dry flakes dropping back into the fresh paint. As you can see, a lot of the coloring has raised to the surface, so we're going to need to sufficiently mix this to get the right color. It's very important that this is not spinning when you first enter the liquid. If you have it spinning under high speed, it'll entrap air in it. I'm going to demonstrate now. As you can see, there's a big hollow area where there's nothing but air. Once you go under, that bubble is still there and it's creating a bunch of tiny bubbles as it's spinning. As soon as I let go, that big bubble is going to raise to the surface. Like that. But there's actually very small bubbles all entrained in the paint right now. This is very bad because all of these bubbles will show up on the wall once they dry. Those bubbles will have a higher amount of the dye using the paint and it'll be very obvious because they'll be slightly darker and they'll just appear as specks on the wall. Here are a few examples of bubbles that have gone on the wall, popped, and then dried. There's a few right here, there's one, there's another one, and they're all over here. They're hard to see on camera but they're obvious if you look very closely. And that is why it's fairly important how you stir the paint before you apply it to the wall. So the proper technique is to first completely submerge the stirrer at the very bottom and then start spinning. What I'm gonna do is start spinning it and make slowly larger and larger circles until I get to the outer walls. And now I'm gonna keep it in contact with the outer walls as I go round and round. And I'm gonna be raising it at the same time. Now I'm going to start raising it up as I keep it to the outside of the wall. At this point, make sure you don't raise the stirrer while it's spinning too much or you'll end up with the same problem as before and you'll allow air to get inside like I just let happen. I'll demonstrate now. See, I just raised it up a tiny bit and a massive amount of air was able to enter. Continue to move the stirrer under full RPM around the entire can now. You need to do this for at least a minute to make sure it's completely stirred. As you can see right here, the coloring has raised to the surface, is on the outside of the paint. So what we're going to do is get the stirrer and just very slowly start spinning it and move around the dye to allow it to mix back into the paint. Then I'm going to go back down and allow it to mix even more. You can see the collected dye right here is that ring. That's solid dye, so it needs to be mixed in to get the proper color. Continue to mix it until you don't see any more runs of dye like that. If there are any remaining bubbles, you can manually pop them like this. Once you don't see any more bubbles or sitting dye, then it is completely mixed. At this point, you will need to pour it in your tray. Be very careful or it'll create more bubbles as you pour it in and those could end up on the wall. When you're done stirring, it's important to also rinse your stirrer in the sink. If it's a latex-based paint, if it's an oil-based paint, you could just fill some mineral spirits in a bucket and wash this around in it. You don't want dried flakes of paint getting into your fresh paint. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe.